Hello everyone and welcome back to Scientific Gamer. Today I'm giving you guys number episode number 8 in my Amnesia The Dark Descent Let's Play series. If you guys missed out the previous episode, I am leaving a link down in the description. But um, yeah, I'm picking up exactly where I left off. I've got a little bit of oil. I've got four of these uh, cinder boxes. And um, yeah, a heart that's ready to explode. But besides that, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, this is definitely not creepy at all. You know. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Down to hell. That actually hurt my throat. I tried to make that creepy, but it didn't work out. Man, this game's gonna kill me. Uh, we're good over here. Uh, what are you? Machine room. Wait a minute. Don't I have a key for that? E. What do you mean it's locked? I have the key right here. I didn't mean to go in. Guess I'm going in. The strange ladder frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Dun dun dun! Oh, great. Definitely safe here. It's lit up r really well. I'm hoping that I can find some decent amount of oil. I don't want to waste it on that. I can see clearly here. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty nine. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. That's right, because there was a demon that was following him or some, like, wicked monster. I think I fully investigated this room. I like the lighting here. They should keep this throughout the game. <laughs> it's like the music and the atmosphere that gets to me. It's not the game itself. And I love it. I don't know why I love it, but I love it. Like, brings me to my senses. This is the exact same reason I love Halloween. And I do creepy stuff during Halloween. Like, I attend, like, I don't know, hayrides, creepy hayrides. Why do I think I'm gonna need this? Didn't mean to actually do that. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, 
It causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh, man. So that's how we met Alexander, and that's the guy I'm supposed to be hunting down. So if you guys want to read this, just pause and take a good look. I'm probably just going to skim over it. I have no idea what this means, but I'm gonna go about my day. Circle triangle square. All right, that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm an idiot. Hey, I didn't see this. Don't want to be using too much of my oil. That's where I picked up the letter. How come I didn't notice this chest? I feel like I'm gonna need this. How's my insanity doing? A slight headache? Sweet. Uh, didn't I just come from it downstairs? I totally just did. That has to be a sign. I apologize if I'm quiet, you guys. I'm just paying really close attention to everything I'm hearing. See, this is why oil doesn't last me that long. Here's another one. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice. But to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Dun dun dun! Yeah, you know what? None of this is creepy. I knew they were up to something. Well, I got exactly three cogwheels. The cogwheel does not fit in there. Sweet, so let me go get the other two. Cause I know I do have them. I'm hearing voices now, which isn't bad. So I'm assuming every time I go crazy is when um I start seeing monsters and I actually have to hide from them. Didn't actually mean to do that one. Wait, I forgot I can run with this. Boom. Before I do anything. I don't want to do anything just yet. Alright, I gotta chill with this.
Because I don't have that much oil. It doesn't seem to be much in here. Sweet, 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 sweet. So that's good that I saw that. Uh, needs more work. Question mark, question mark. Wait a minute. What is this tool that I have here for then? Hand drill? What, can I use this for anything? Maybe some of this is damaged? Get out of here. Maybe there's something here I can burn. Is this coal? I think this is. Alright, I'm gonna grab a decent amount of it. Just so that I can, um... Just so that it's powered... It's powered on for a little bit. I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. The burner is full is now full of coal. Wait, did you just close all the way? Yeah it did. So that starts up this bad boy. Now can I do this? What does the machine need work on? It's expecting some of this. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm. S Is there something with this I need to do? That explains this room. This is the coal. So I got that rolling. Hmm. Is there something I need to do with this? I don't know. I can't lie. I'm a bit confused with this one. Machine needs more work before it can run. What is ex what is hap exactly the problem? With? What is the point of this cog wheel? Hmm, I'm partly confused here because I don't know what to do. All right, guys, I am back, and um, I think I'm getting a little too ahead of myself because I'm so like there's a things for this puzzle that I don't have yet and that is because um and that is because I think I think I need to explore the main part of the mission like the that one fenced area like where the elevator was at before coming down here because this actually has some significant meanings like I need these special rods that I don't have on me so for now Let's get out of here. Like, if, if I'm being honest, I know what this is now. Like, I was looking at someone actually trying to solve this, and it needs to be 8 up. So, if I recall right, 
goes up, up, down, two, six, I messed this up already. I already forgot. The flow is even and stable. I have no idea. So, five, six, eight. So, it makes sense. What is that? Six, eight. Yeah. So, it's eight, eight. So, unfortunately, I don't have all the tools required to actually complete this. So, unfortunately, I do have to head out, out of here. Let me just make sure, because there's like these three vials that I need that I don't have on me. Yeah, I don't think I have them on me. Hopefully they won't make me rebuild all this, just because I'm missing that piece. Oh man, but uh, let's see quickly that future area. And see if I find these three like little screw things. If I do find them... I will most likely complete the that puzzle next level or the next um episode. For now, I do want to try to find oil. Like always, I don't have I don't ever have oil actually. So I know the elevator is broken down. I accidentally got ahead of myself. Oh wait, did I? Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Oh man, guys. I know I'm missing three little trinkets. I don't know where they'll be at, if I'm being completely honest. But um, overall though, I will end up wrapping up this episode right here. If you liked this episode guys, please don't forget to smack that like button. If you love my content, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because I do post on it daily. Overall, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next episode.